I'm getting ready to go work out. I'm getting ready to go work out. And I've really been trying to figure out like the approach in my life to take with anything these days because I feel like I feel like it doesn't matter about getting on line and trying to prove yourself to people who probably don't like you anyway or don't want to believe you anyway my hair looks crazy because I had a shoe yesterday but um I feel like I'm tired of having to explain to motherfuckers anything about my life when y'all don't want to hear it anyway like I can get on here and be like I ain't fuck that nigga I don't know that nigga I ain't do that and y'all gonna be like liar she's a liar yes you did you did it because whoop de whoop said you did and blah 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 I feel like it'll be pointless for me to get online and be like that didn't happen that's not what it is because y'all don't want to believe me no way now what I will say is because I want to stick to my points because I really got to go but there was a point in my life there was a point in my life where I was so low and I was so sad and I was drinking like a motherfucker I was turning up I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do I was definitely outside that was my business I was outside before I had a relationship when I got in my relationship after I got shot and everything like I think I was still going off adrenaline I wasn't grieving my parents I wasn't doing I, I had never really reacted to all the bad shit that had happened to me so when I got in my relationship and I finally just sat down with one person like I felt like Ugh. Okay, now I could just be as depressed as I want to be. I want to be sad. I want to cry. I want to fucking tell you everything. I want to tell you my whole life story. And that was my friends at the time, too. Everybody around me at that time saw how hard I was going. They saw how sad I was. They saw how much I drank. Nobody in my life at that time was like, Megan, let's not go out tonight. Megan, let's not turn up tonight. Megan, you don't got to do that. Everybody was down with the motherfucking shenanigans. I'll be crying before I walk in a party and bitches will be like, come on, bitch, let's go. You know, I'm crying with my nigga. <laughs> Why you always crying? You know what I'm saying? Like, people saw me be low as fuck. Once I went and got help, once I got therapy, once I fucking decided I need to love myself. I need to value myself because I don't love myself. I'm not valuing myself. I'm fucking up. I'm crashing out. Once I start realizing... You're crashing, bitch. You need to fucking... You need to get your shit together because you're crashing. And I cleaned out the house. Everybody from my past was shook. Like, they was like, I can't believe this bitch not talking to me. What the fuck? How am I blocked? Why is this? Why is that? Bitch, you fake as fuck. You don't want to fuck with me. Da, 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 da. I was down with you. I don't have any problem with anybody from my past. I, will, I don't have anything negative to say about anybody from my past. I don't want to talk bad about those people. Everybody is in your life for a reason or a season. You go your way, I go my way. I don't have nothing bad to say about y'all. I don't have nothing bad to say about anybody that I used to deal with. I don't have nothing bad to say about nobody I used to be friends with. Thank you so much for the purpose that you serve. Thank you for helping me realize I needed to grow. I'm never going to trash talk nobody that I used to be cool with. Like, I don't have nothing bad to say about y'all. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why me trying to better myself and be a new person is bothering people so bad. Like, I don't know what that means. And I, and I, I don't want to keep this long because I know people are going to chop this up the way they want to chop it up and twist my words and make me something else. But I just feel like I'm Megan Thee Stallion and I just wanna be Megan Thee Stallion. I just wanna drop my music. I just wanna talk to the hotties. I just wanna shake my ass. I wanna have as much fun with this shit as I used to. But it seems like every time I take a step forward to heal and do something different, motherfuckers be like, no, come back. Get your ass back to this negativity. Come back this way. You, you're not supposed to be smiling right now. You're not supposed to still be getting deals. You're not supposed to be in movies. You're not supposed to be recording albums. You're supposed to be sad where you was with me 
two, three years ago. When I got in a relationship, all that shit was deleted. I was sat the fuck down. I was sat. I was seated. I was very much happy where I was at. If if this if this man is saying I didn't cheat on her, I didn't do that. Well, why the fuck is you responding to me? Do you know how many niggas y'all claim I done fucked with? Why are you answering? Why are you trying to make that shoe fit? Was it you getting your dicks up in the same spot I was sleeping? If you say it wasn't true, why the hell is you dissing me? Like, what the fuck is going on? Why are you talking to me? I wasn't, if you say I wasn't talking to you, I wasn't talking to you. Like, you just wanted to fucking find a reason to bash me. It's, it seems very strategic. Like, it feels like they getting on Megan ass. All right, let me go get on her ass too. Like, if I'm not talking about you, why the hell are you talking about me? Like, what's happening? And should I not defend myself? Like, should I not come on here and say, what? Like, I don't have anything bad to say about my ex. I genuinely don't. Like, if I'm not talking about you, why are you talking about me? You say, I didn't cheat. So why you thought that bar was for you? Why are you making a shoe fit, Cinderella? Like, you squeezing your foot in there, friend. If it wasn't you, why the hell is you talking to me? That doesn't make sense. And I don't feel like I should have to explain myself, but you know, it, I'm, I'm not that big of a person yet. God ain't finished with me. He's still working. And then one more thing before I go. Um, I'm trying to move on from being shot the best I can. I still wake up in the middle of the night crying. People, especially people that I used to be cool with, they know how bad social media affect me. Everybody in my life knew how bad social media would make me cry. Like, I would get online and see people say some terrible shit, and I'd be like, oh my god, everybody hates me, it's over. So the people who attack me that I used to be cool with, they know exactly where to hit me, where it hurt, because they think that I'm still on that type of time, like social media gonna hurt my feelings. Motherfuckers is getting denied every time they try to set a motion for a new trial. So they trying to pull shit out the air, like, okay, let's do this now. I'm not about to keep going with y'all. Y'all defending somebody who didn't even take the stand and defend themselves. Y'all going back and forth about facts. Y'all could go read real shit. Like, y'all literally believe anything if it's bold and in all caps. Like, go read something that's going to take you a minute to sit down and have a good read. Like, go read something that's going to make you have to do some critical thinking. Not a thing that is curated by bots and blogs that hate me. Like, y'all need to sit down and have a good read. Like... Imagine somebody saying that they did not commit a crime and not defending themselves to the T. Imagine y'all saying somebody is following the street code, not snitching. Are you snitching or are you not snitching? Because y'all trying to pretend like Kelsey shot me. Kelsey didn't motherfucking shoot me. And I really wonder why she, her main problem with me was, you won't tell people I didn't shoot you. I was like, Kelsey, I don't want to talk about this on social media at all. But now you won't even get online and defend yourself. So that really just proves my point. Either you took some money or your life is in danger. Like, why won't you get online and say, bitch, because this is what y'all care about. Y'all care about online because the case already won in court. But y'all care about online. Why would y'all motherfuckers not get up there and say, if you did, if you say you didn't shoot me, why won't you get on the stand and say, I didn't shoot this bitch? You, you say it online every day. You figure out how to get your niggas to say you didn't do it. You figure out. to say you didn't do it but the one motherfucker it would have mattered from was you you should have said i didn't do it kelsey did it if she did it why wouldn't you just say she did it kelsey if you did not do it why won't you just say i did not do it i know who shot me i said who shot me and that's why the fuck you in jail y'all motherfuckers are dragging it online like it's some new evidence there's no new evidence motherfucking witnesses went missing why i wonder why the witnesses went missing did y'all pay them why y'all showing up now why y'all showing up it's about to be 2024 y'all still fucking with me Y'all are still fucking with me. Why? Because y'all see me moving on and doing better. Y'all see me trying to heal and trying to grow. But y'all keep trying to bring me back this way when I'm trying to go this way. So I hope that this really gives y'all some insight to go and have a good read. Don't read the, the big bold letters. Don't read them. Read, read it. Read the article. Read a real article. Read something from a real journalist. The, the, the big font with the bold background. Don't. The big front bowl background. Don't read that. Like, people can pay for a headline. People can buy bots. I don't give a fuck what you motherfuckers make trend. Bitch, I'm winning. Bitch, I'm happy. Bitch, I'm healthy. Bitch, I can't be too motherfucking evil because God keep blessing me. 
I'm not doing nothing to y'all. So I would really appreciate if everybody will let me heal in peace, will let me move on, because I'm not talking about y'all. I don't have anything bad to say about none of you people. I would never, if we was ever cool and we fell out, the business safe with me, friend. Because y'all can get online and try to talk about my dirt all y'all want to. Y'all don't want to know who's in the same room. Y'all don't want, like, y'all do want to know who's in the same room. But I would never air y'all out. Like, I would never say nothing about nobody because that's our business. Like, I don't got to get on here and make nobody feel bad to make myself feel better. So, with that being said, please, people, don't make me have to get on here and keep trying to defend myself against silly shit. If you're not going to read, just don't talk about me. Like, if you're not going to read, if you're not going to take the time to actually, like, understand what's going on, don't just don't talk about me. Because I like intelligent people. I could argue with an intelligent motherfucker, but I cannot argue with no damn fool. I hope I really, like, hit all the points. Y'all think I hit all the points? The hotties. And please, once y'all, I know once this hit the blog, because this is why I hate talking um, on live. Y'all have really stole my social media joy. Like, I don't even want to get on this hole because I know people are going to, like, twist it up. And make it something else. But just if you feel like everybody is on your ass when you're trying to heal and you're trying to figure out why the fuck are these people bothering me? It's because you're outgrowing them. It's because you were meant to go somewhere higher in life. You're you was meant to outgrow them and growth is uncomfortable, change is uncomfortable. I hope the people that really support me and really rock with me can understand my point of view where where I'm coming from I hope the hotties are so excited about 2024 it's definitely going to be the year of the stallion hopefully I don't have to really get on somebody motherfucking ass because I don't want to like I want to be happy I want to be peace and love bitch my hair blunt bitch my hair is blunt cut me some slack but yeah, 2024 is going to be amazing and hopefully everybody leave their bullshit. In 2023 and down, You don't. if you knew me in 2019 to 2023, you don't know me. Like, maybe at the end of 2023, you know me. But you don't fucking know me. 20, 2019 Meg, 2022 Meg, bitch, you, that's the whole y'all know. Y'all don't know Megan. Y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know me. Stop talking like you know me. You know the old me. You don't know this me. You don't know this me, so stop bringing up the old me. Okay? So, hotties, let's 